Hi, you're Chandi once again at Goodly and we're in the second video of the top selling product analysis. As of now, what we have done is we have taken a look at the data. Uh, we have uh, three, four tables here and we have uh, created two or three measures. The first measure was for total sales and this is the second measure was for finding the best selling product and uh, then finally finding the name of the best selling product. Now, as of now, we have the sales of the best selling product and the name. But uh, what if somebody asks me, hey, what's the sales of the top three selling products? And subsequently, uh, the person says that, hey, can you also let me know the names of the best three selling products? How are you going to do that? So let's just find that out. So I'm just going to delete this pivot table. In fact, let me just not delete it. Let me just work with it. Uh, and let me just throw the products out and just have a pivot table right here. So as of now, in this pivot table, I have uh, the date, the month and the sales and I need to find the sales of the top three selling products. So I'm going to write a measure right here and I'm just going to say uh, top uh, three product sales and that we're going to do it through a measure called top n. So in the top n, we're going to say that, hey, uh, in we need a small table and the table should have three rows, right? And we need to have uh, uh, that done in the products table. And you need to have three rows in the products table according to uh, something called as total sales. So I'm saying order the three rows uh, by top sales. So top three product sales, that's what uh, this means. And then once you have this, I'm just going to use this in the sumx. So I'm just going to say that, hey, go in every single row of this table where in this table, you will have three rows only. And those three rows will have the two, the highest, uh, like the first largest, the second largest and the third largest sales, right? Go in every single row of this table and then uh, get me what? Get me the total of the products in every, in every single row, find the total sales and then add it up. So that's how you're going to do it. And uh, again, I give it a, like a currency format. So say, okay, and let's just drag top three right here. So uh, take a look, the top three uh, sales for the month of January is 633, right? Now somebody can ask you that, hey, uh, this is good enough, but can you tell me what is the name of all the three products that, that gave you this amount of sales, 633? How are you gonna find that? We use the first non-blank uh, where we were finding the name of the best one selling product or the best selling product which had the highest sales using first non-blank. But first non-blank is only going to capture the first non-blank value. We, right now we can we need to capture three values. So how are we going to do that? Let's just write another measure. So I'm just going to say top three product uh, top three selling products. Let's just write that. Uh, and I'm just going to write again. I'm just going to say, going to say that, Hey, um, I need top N and, uh, number of rows are going to be three, which table, the products table and, um, uh, and by what order, by the order of total sales, right? This is going to give me, um, like a three row table where the three rows are going to be first selling product and the second best selling product and the third best selling product. This is good enough. Now in this table, I don't need the name. Uh, I don't need the sales of the product, but I need the name of the product. So I'm just going to use this not in some X, but concatenate X same function, just like some X goes in every single row of the table and does something and it concatenates that. So it, uh, the first input in concatenate X is, Hey, which table do I have to go inside? So I'm saying that this three row table, you go inside that. There are going to be three rows inside. If this table go inside every single row and find me what? Find me the name of the product. So I'm just going to say product and the name of the product, right? And delimit that by, let's say a comma. So uh, you, you will take the first product, then you will take the second product, and then you will take the third product and apply a comma to separate them out. That's about it and check tax formula. This is all good. Say, okay. And as soon as I drag this right here, you wouldn't have seen this. Like right? I have now technically the three best selling products. And you can see that uh, balance sheet is going to be one of the products. So balance sheet template 1.1 is definitely going to be one of the three products. Let's just take a look. 
uh, balance sheet template 1.1 technically this should be the first product here because that's the best selling product and the names of the three best selling products should be arranged in the order of the sales that they make but as of now we have just done that and in the next video i'm going to explain to you how do you arrange that as well but as of now let's just fix this formula because it's also giving me the names here which i don't really need because you, you don't really have any sales data here so let's just fix that measure so um right here edit and i'm going to say that hey you do this calculation only if the total sales is not blank so if the total sales is equals to blank then give me a blank otherwise you give me this calculation that i've just made uh, all good say okay and i should not have that absolutely fine now um somebody can again turn around and say that hey this is good enough i get to know that 633 is contributed by this product this product and this product but hey now can you tell me that how much of each of these is contributing so not only do i need the name of the product but i also need the sales against the product name in the same measure so in the next video i'm going to i'm going to show you that how do you actually modify this this measure to not only get the the name of the product but also along with that get the sales of individual products all right and how to again sort them in the descending order of the sales so the best selling product first then the second best selling and the third best selling all right stay tuned there are two more videos coming up and i'll talk to you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye